Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multimedia timeline using Canva and how to publish that timeline as its own standalone website. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm in my Canva account and you can see I did a little search for infograph timeline infographics and I could further refine that search to say timeline, education, illustration, even refine it according to color and style over here. But what I'm going to do will work the same way regardless of which template you pick from. You could pick a more traditional timeline format like this one, maybe a squiggly one. You can see this, here's another one. I'm gonna use in this case, this one over here. And I'm going to customize this template. And the first thing that I wanna do is rename it. And I'm gonna call it my timeline as a Red Sox fan. And let's expand it so it's a little larger and so that I can see it a little more clearly. And now rename it my Red Sox timeline. And I can highlight here to resize and reposition my text. I can remove this little placeholder and now the first thing I want to do is I want to add in a map at the top of my timeline. And fortunately, Canva will let you do that with just about any kind of content that you can find online. So I'm going to go over here to embeds on the left-hand side, and we'll see we have Google Maps. Well, I went to Google Maps and I found this street view imagery of the outside of Fenway Park. And the way that I did that, I just did a search for Fenway Park, which is where the Red Sox play. And then I grabbed the little peg person here, dragged the peg person onto the map, and I have that imagery. And now I'm gonna go to this menu for share or embed image, copy a link, and let's now paste that link into the design. And if we scroll down, we'll see there's the map with the street view imagery. And I can click and drag to reposition it. And you can see here, I can even resize it if I want. I want to have that pretty large though. And let's go ahead and remove this other content, this other placeholder content. And I'm gonna move that text out of the way and move the map back in. And so there we have the map now at the top of my timeline. I'm gonna change this date from 1985 to 1986. I was convinced that the Red Sox would win the World Series against the New York Mets. Unfortunately, my young heart was broken by this infamous play. Now, I'm going to embed a video of this infamous play that I just referred to. So I'm going to delete that placeholder image and I'm now going to go back over here to embeds where we can see YouTube I have this little clip here from YouTube and let's place that into the design and we can click and drag to reposition it as we see fit. So there it is and now it will fit and I can drag and drop to move any of these things for better alignment. Now, again, for this demo, I'm not too concerned with my alignment, but you can see you can adjust those as you see fit. I'm going to add one more thing here. Let's say 2003. Let's see. I thought that for sure they would win the World Series this time. Unfortunately, their 
boneheaded manager left Pedro in the game too long. And again, I can swap out that image. In this case here, I'm just gonna go over here to elements, look for a picture of a baseball, and let's put in that picture of a baseball and drag it over here. And now I'm gonna add in one more date and we'll say 2004. And again, resize it. They finally won. And again, I'm gonna remove that placeholder image. I'm gonna put in the video once again, go over here to embeds and I have a link to the video I wanna use. And let's just paste in that link and we'll see it right there. So there's my timeline in progress right now. You can see I can still add more to it. I can delete other elements of it. Now, I wanna publish this so that people can view my timeline and interact with it online so that they can experience the media that I've included in here. So let's go to the upper right corner and we'll select the option for website. And then we'll select the format of standard and open that website. And now we can scroll through the website, see all these elements here. We can click on the play button for the video. We can see the images, play that video. And we can see up here that people can even pan and zoom and move through the imagery outside of Fenway Park. So that's how you can create a multimedia timeline using Canva. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.